Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Business. Today we definitely have one of the best bang for buck HP Victus 15Ls out there. The 15L stands for liters. We're gonna see how much water this thing can hold in today's video. Maybe mineral oil. Oh wait, that doesn't sound fun. But yeah, what we have right here is an HP Victus, which we have taken a look at on the channel a couple months back with a different spec model. Um, that one I believe had a 5600G with a 1660 Super, but now they've upgraded that model to an i5-12400 with a 1660 Super, and it comes in at under $700. Is it worth buying? Well, we're about to find out, but first, it worked from today's sponsor. Big thanks to today's video sponsor, Yi Yin. They were nice enough to send us two of their amazing monitors, and today we're looking at the Yi Yin Sigurd 2503. This monitor offers an incredible viewing experience, utilizing a 23.8 inch curved display with a 1080p resolution. This monitor was built with gamers in mind with its 200Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and anti motion blur technology. Let's not forget that you'll also experience no tears, no flicker, and extremely low latency due to the AMD FreeSync tech built in. This monitor is perfect for all gamers looking for a responsive, immersive, and affordable curved display. Once again, big shout out to Yi Yin for sending this monitor over, and check out the link down below to upgrade your gaming setup today. So this PC at the time of recording this video is a little over 650 bucks for the base MSRP, and you're getting an i5-12400 and you're getting a 1660, which is honestly pretty mind blowing in my opinion, because for a little over console price, you're definitely getting some really good performance. Yeah, and it's really cool that they upgraded to 12th gen Intel because you're definitely getting more performance there, even though it is still six cores and 12 threads. But uh, yeah, I'm just excited to open this thing up and see how it performs. It's gonna have that same white Victus look, but you can get it in black. I was unable to get it in black, but that is an option as well. You can get from HP's website, so check that link down below. But let's open it up and see what she looks like. So yeah, we're, we're pretty excited. Like Matt was saying, I, I want to see this thing in black. We've only ever gotten to see the white every time. And um, every time we've been to stores too, and we've seen the Victus, it's always white for some reason. So it must be a popular color scheme, which I'm kind of surprised. Normally people are kind of into like the all black cases, but I do know there's a lot of people out there who are the white case enthusiast. Now, of course, we're going to get a HP keyboard in typical fashion. Oh, this one's white? Okay, hold up. I don't remember being I was white. literally getting ready to say, I always show these and there's really not much of a reason because like they're always the same, but I have never seen a white HP keyboard and it, it just makes I think a Mac. I know there's no way. I've never seen a white keyboard and mouse come with a pre belt like ever. I don't know. Maybe some of you might hate it. If you're working in a mechanic shop, you're going to hate this because <laughs> this keyboard will change colors pretty quickly. Nasty. We do have a power cord and we get a couple of things for upgrades. As you can see, we have the all white Victus and they do a good job with this new Victus. And they did do something really cool that I really like with the Victus is where they made this glow and it kind of has like a it's not like RGB, but it's kind of like a pearlescent glow. So I really like it. We have our little 12 Gen i5 sticker. The front ports, we have a power button. We then have a combo headphone jack. We have four USB 3s, and it looks like two of them are uh, USB 3 and charging, and then we have a USB-C port up front. I definitely like the ports. Now in the back, we're gonna have our actual video out ports covered because we're gonna be using a graphics card, but we'll get to that in a second. So we have our additional audio jacks. We have, it looks like, these are all USB 2, I believe. So four USB 2s, and then we have a ethernet jack. Now in the 1660 Super, we have a DVI, we have an HDMI, and we have a display port, so pretty good on monitors, you can have up to three there. And then of course we have the power jack, but now what we need to do is open it up and then we're gonna turn it on once we look at the specs in the inside. These always usually look the same, although the keyboard was different. So I'm like, what if the inside's different? We have a single fan 1660 Super and it is actually like an HP sort of OEM. You could use it in another system. So we have a just a little bit larger than stock cooler. Um, they buy these, you know, in the uh, the trade version. So obviously they don't come with coolers. So they just use like a large aluminum stock cooler. We have a SK Hynix 256 gig. So we did definitely go with the base model. Um, we can never remember if we ask for upgrades or not. I don't think we did in this case because I see the 256 gig. I think this is only eight gigs of RAM, but it's it is dual, dual channel. channel. That is pretty cool. That's that's important, guys. Like we've, I almost feel like HP listened to us. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think we really made a difference, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that we did. So we have two four gig sticks, making eight total, and it's dual channel. We used to complain about this all the time. We were like, man, these HP systems are so good for the price, but they really need dual channel RAM to, you know, really excel and perform really well. And now for the power supply, which is pretty much the last part, we have a 80 plus gold. Can't read upside down. I guess 400. Um, yeah, it says. Uh, maximum power should not exceed 350. So we'll say it's a 350 watt. And as far as expandability goes, you do have a hard drive cage here. That's what the screws are for. And it can fit an SSD. So uh, you also get the SATA connector and then you have one additional SATA data port. So you can basically have one hard drive, one SSD um, if you wanted to, but let's go ahead and turn it on. You know, we got to see if it actually works. So you guys can kind of see what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of like a purplish 
a little bit pearlescent. They do an infinity display, which I just think is so cool. I mean, it's just like the small features like that in a pre-built. You know, you look at some other companies you know, like Dell, Lenovo, great pre-builds as well, but you don't really see them innovating like that a whole lot with like cool logos and stuff. I think from here, we just need to install some games. Let's play games. We're on medium settings. Medium. Apex Legends 1080p. <laughs> First rip. Oh. Oh God. That guy's almost dead. That was another enemy squad. There's about to be a lot of these freaking little demon people after the limited. Oh, oh, you went right into somebody. All right. That didn't work out. I want to well. come back as a bad boy. Yeah, Apex runs great. Um, I mean, you know, you still die in Apex. Doesn't really fix that problem, yeah. but let's we'll see the damage. <laughs> Next game. Recording. Stop recording. All right, guys, we are in Fortnite. I should probably put my headphones on because, you know, I got to hear what's going on. We're working on uh, performance settings, medium view, just medium textures, you know, what all these uh, crazy gamers be playing at. And uh, we'll see what the FPS ends up being. I mean, obviously, you can run higher settings if you want it to look better, but, you know, most of you guys are like, I want high FPS performance settings. So here we are. One. And I took a lot of damage to get that kill. Ugh! <laughs> The taxi duel. Oh, <laughs> oh there's, there's three cars. Oh, no. Ah! Okay, gamer cat. Ah! Let me run away. Oh, that sounds like a rocket launcher. Oh! oh. Ah! Oh god, that was a real gamer. That dude. was a virtual king virtual right there. King was a king not of playing game. Around. But yeah, at some point you're getting three, four hundred FPS on a PC that's under seven hundred dollars. I mean, if you really want higher fresh rate Fortnite, I mean, this thing is an easy plug and play solution, and you'll get destroyed by virtual king. By the like freaking pumpkin rocket launcher. <laughs> by the rock, 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 rock. Um, but yeah, guys, what we're gonna go ahead and do is run some built in benchmarks, uh, some higher end games just to really stress this thing, and then we're just gonna wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking the HP Victus, and it was a victory for the victus -tory. Wow. Wow, that was, that was, su that was such <laughs> yeah, a great... I did not see that coming. That was so great. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the HP Victus. I mean, we reviewed the one with the 5600G, and that one was pretty good. And at the time of recording that video, I think that PC was about $800. This one is about $700 and has a better CPU, so you really can't complain too much about it. And of course, with the Victus lineup, there's a bunch of different spec ranges as well. So definitely check the link down below to shop on HP's website. That's where you normally get the best deals. We'll always leave links to Amazon and other retailers as well, because they will pop up from time to time there at good prices. But HP's website is the best location. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this Victus and let us know if you pick one up in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Gooba. Peace out. And hey, HP is a great retailer, but if you want like a full custom build, you know, that's like a one-off and everything, you should definitely check out PC Bros. But hey, this will also be over there too. PC Bros. Tags where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code Toasty Bros. 2 on checkout, you save 2% on anything you buy on the website. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.